Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about configuring time zones on the AS5300 with the provisioning client. The provisioning client allows you to define and manage as many time zones as you require. Time zones define the subscriber's local time zone. The provisioning client is initially set up with the standard 24 time zones. However, there are more than 300 plus time zones available. In today's demo, I will show how to create a new time zone label, modify a time zone, assign a time zone to a user, delete a time zone label we created. We will be starting this demo with the provisioning client open. You can find detailed instructions in the Avaya Aura application server 5300 release 2.0 using the provisioning client guide at the link shown. Now let's get started. Time zones are used in the Avaya Aura Application Server 5300 Personal Agent Call Manager function to set a screen rule that applies during a certain time. This time is dependent on the time zone selected. The first thing we need to do is view the details of all the available time zones to find one that has a setting we need. So we need to navigate to System, Time Zones. And this opens our time zone applet and we can view the standard 24 time zones. And we're actually looking for a specific time zone. I will click on the view details of all time zones and this will bring up a list. So here we have a list of all the available time zones. And since I'm working in Calgary, I'm going to use the Mountain Standard Time Zone. And I'm gonna scroll down and find uh, Mountain Standard Time. So you can see there's a number of mountain standard times here and uh, they just have different naming for the for the different mountain times. Um, it's still the same time zone and uh, easy way to find a time zone is if you know how far off of GMT it is they're listed by uh, starting with the one that is furthest away so minus 12 hours GMT and then they move up to zero GMT and then go plus in the list. So um, it's an easy way to scroll down to an area where you're interested in. And uh, when these uh, time zones are listed in the drop down list, when you're building your time zone, they'll be listed as GMT minus seven, followed by uh, Mountain Standard Time or, or the name. So in this case, MST. Okay, so let's head back to the home. Click on home here. And it takes us back to our time zone main applet. So we'll just put in a unique name for this time zone and I'm just gonna call it Calgary Time Zone Test. And uh, then from the drop down list, we'll select Mountain Standard Time. And here we have uh, Canadian Mountain. And once we've selected the time zone with the appropriate settings, we click on Save. And we can see that our time zone was saved successfully. And if we scroll down in the list, we can see Calgary time zone here. User location does not accommodate language differences in the time zones. Make certain that for the time zones which match languages, for example, with French, an in French time zone must be created, even though it is the same time zone as in English. So let's say in our example that we have some agents in Calgary who are French speaking agents. So we'll just uh, create another time zone with the same settings and we'll give it a French uh, title. So we'll give our um, time zone a French name. Because we can't have two time zones with the same time zone name, uh, the Canadian Mountain Time, uh, the system won't allow us to do that. We'll just select another time zone that has the same settings and apply that to our French one and in this case we'll just use the Phoenix time zone which is actually the same settings as the Canadian Mountain time zone. We'll click on that and then we'll click on save. And we get a message that our time zone was saved successfully and if we just scroll down we can see that our French Calgary time zone was added to the list. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is we'll have to add this one of these time zones to a user. So we'll just scroll back up here to the top and click on Users, 
search and then we'll search the DS2 auto SIP domain and we'll open up the 1037 user and then we'll scroll down and select uh, from the time zones and we have the Calgary test time zone the French one and we'll change this to French as well and we'll save and we get a message that the changes were saved successfully and so now we'll go back to systems time zone and the last thing that we need to do is delete the one of the time zones now the system will not allow us to delete a time zone if it's already assigned to a user so the French time zone we won't be able to delete but we haven't assigned the Calgary time zone test to anyone so we'll just be able to delete that one and we just click on the delete button next to it in the list and since this is service affecting we'll be asked to uh, confirm that with the admin password and we get a message that the time zone was deleted successfully now if we try to delete the uh, the French time, Calgary time zone that we created so we can just uh, remove it from the 1037 and then we'd be able to delete the time zone so if we navigate to the users search click on the search click on the 1037 user change the time zone back to uh, I think it was Eastern Standard Time and then change to English save and we can see that the user data was modified successfully and now if we go back to system time zone scroll down to the French time zone test and click on the delete enter in the admin password confirm and we get a message back indicating that the time zone was deleted successfully. And that concludes our demo for today. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.